and they don't see advertising as a means to make more money. But at least now you're directly linking those results to your spent to your customer acquisition spend. Yeah. I mean, if the, so what I always look at is look at the, the percentage of your paid traffic. If your paid traffic is a small percentage of your total traffic, then obviously ACOS becomes less and less important. It's your tacos that matters. And then I look at, okay, uh, outside the paid traffic, where is the rest of the traffic coming from? Is it organic and external? How much is external? So that's another decision. So if your external traffic has a higher percentage, then obviously uh, your but, organic but Nick, traffic. Nick, you're running into the same problem, right? So tacos, what is tacos? It's your ad spend divided by your total sales. I need. It's important for sellers to move away from revenue embedded metrics, right? You're essentially still looking at your revenue and you're doing it on a waxing level. You're saying, hey, here's my, re here's my ad spend divided by my total sales. And that does not include the cost of delivery or the fees of Amazon looking at it on a, on a profitability perspective. Yeah, you can take your account, your PL, and say, okay, this percentage of my ad spend, I never want to, to exceed this. But again, it's, it's a very one sided way. It doesn't give you the full picture of what's happening. Yeah. Well, as far as traffic evaluation, I look at the clicks, I don't look at the revenue. So it's uh, uh, analyzing the traffic. So if you're getting a thousand clicks in a month, and you got 200 clicks from paid sales for paid traffic and 500 clicks on external and then 300 organically. That means one thing, uh, just purely looking at the traffic, because that tells you the efficiency of your distribution, your, your, your how you are promoting. So uh, and at the same time. A lot of new sellers will get out of those thousand clicks. They're going to get eight hundred of them from paid clicks. So now that means something. Uh, so yeah. it's just looking at two aspects of it. Yeah, different shirts for different folks. I mean, look, you can you can have a spreadsheet that looks at POAS and your tacos and your ACOS, and you can make decisions appropriately. Yeah. At least just having that data available to you. I would yeah. just say the other piece of it is the fact that if you look at tacos, it's ad spent divided by your total sales, total right? Sales. So now you're only adjusting your numerator. You're like, hey, I'm gonna adjust my ad spend, but no one adjusts the denominator, which is a big driver of the performance. And so what if you can actually take your ad spend and harmonize it with your total sales, which is price, average selling price times units. And now you're adjusting price and putting that together so you can actually even maximize the performance further. So I have two metrics for you that you may already have this, uh, that in, in my, uh, platform uh, with tracking these. One is average click value and the other is just like a cost, tag cost, the other is uh, average paid click value. So that way bringing your pricing into this you're going to be able to directly impact those as well. Because that's another way to, to track. So, re, sorry, re, restate those two. So there's, can you just restate Average it? Click value. So in other words, total sales divided by number of clicks. Great. So you can do the same thing though. You can do it for profit. Exactly. Exactly. I'm, I'm down with it. I'm fine with it. I think that's great. I think it's, I think looking at it from a profit perspective, if you want to keep sales, right? If you want to keep looking at that metric, fine. But I think looking at it, like what's your profit per click? And using that as a metric, I think that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah.